All right, future five peeps. Basically, you know, I love doing crazy stuff and just having fun with the game. So instead of getting slapstick like I had wanted to, I've been saving up for a little over a month to uh, buy the bio sub and stuff to get slapstick. But Gwenpool's uniform is just so adorable. I had to go ahead and get that. So no slapstick coming, but you guys have plenty of people making videos about slapstick. So was going to take my Gwenpool into Maw 50 and see how she performs and using the usual strikers now she is like horribly built because I just don't have the resources right now but just kind of playing around I think she's like ranked 4000 something and just basically I got the buff off the fifth skill and then sadly only those skills have the cold damage so those are the ones you kind of have to use and then just kind of fill around and run around until the fifth comes back off cooldown as soon as it applies the basically cold damage down I kind of cancel it and then try to proc on the fourth skill Uh, a little bit too slow canceling on that, but still got some good all defense down from the other strikers. But crazy fun uh, play style. <laughs> and like I said, Gwenpool is just so adorable. Like, uh, yeah, and her little run around is just hilarious. Or she kind of just skips so it's possible maybe she could do higher than a, uh, a 50 um, yeah I'm pretty sure she probably could <laughs> this is fun holy crap crazy and she's only level 60 so this I mean, yeah, the, the new striker stuff does uh, play into it, but the fact that she's actually doing elemental damage now uh, allows her to actually fight the boss. And with like a horrible build, I mean, my build is like just garbage. It's kind of just slapped together. So, wait for him to. But with her cold resistance down, getting stacked up, uh, Dr. Voodoo, like, really helping her out, making it stack even more, uh, plus the all defense down strikers, it's just crazy damage, it's hilarious. And like I said, as you run around, she just, she just skips. Oh god, it's so, so adorable. Sorry, getting spam message from Discord while I'm trying to do this. I apologize for that. Well, I don't want to kill it. But. All right. Well, this was the team I was using, uh, Doctor Voodoo, to increase uh, 
Her debuff effects by 40%. Of course, everybody knows Shuri's support ability, which I will show just in case someone doesn't. That's being applied. And as you can see, my rank is horrible. I mean, really, really horrible. I don't even have Uru to really put on her gear. Uh, her skills are up, though. And just basically threw some ISO 8s on her. And I have a cold damage dodge 200% proc custom gear. I was lucky enough to kind of roll for her. The uniform is still normal. And these are her stats, which are pretty bad still. And the main thing is you can put your uh, defensive ability with this one to guard against eight hits. Which you really don't need it. I mean, her dodge is pretty good, and she gets uh, these, all these heals on her abilities now, so she's got crazy healing. But basically, Doctor Voodoo is causing the 30% decrease of cold resistance to stack even higher and last even longer. So you're throwing that on it, and then hitting your fourth skill, and then throwing in like a two or something just to fill in. Uh, and then you can throw in your three, which does some cold damage as well. But it also removes active buff from the target. Uh, but that is the play with it. And I'm just, it's just so freaking adorable. Look at the little teddy bear kind of ice snowman backpack with her scabbards for swords on her back. That's adorable. <laughs> oh god, this is going to be a fun character to build up uh, and play around with. And I... Hope you guys enjoy the video and see that the uniform makes her like just so much fun to play. And you can do Maul with her. I haven't tried other world bosses yet with her, uh, but definitely on Maul with especially with the strike. I did with out the strikers, like a stage 45 or something like that. Just kind of going in and playing around with her, and was like, oh, okay, let's see what she can do with the strikers. Through the striker zone, went in 50, and you can see she could probably do higher than a 50. Uh, it's just, and that's just with the regular obelisk on her. And that's at level 60. So imagine if she actually gets a level 70 where she can reach her potential and stuff. That, that's just awesome. I'm super happy. Slapstick, you can wait somewhere down the line. I got a fun character to play that's going to keep me laughing. Uh, but thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I hope to catch you guys next time.